Hello everyone, welcome to Malaravel e-commerce project. Today I want to show you how we can install GitHub, implement GitHub in our project and how we can store our project in GitHub and commit on the GitHub. The first, we need to visit this website and download this GitHub application in your computer. After installation, enter the GitHub website and create your own account for GitHub. If you create your GitHub, you can access your repositories. I think first time you don't have any repository. You can create from here new repository and let's create together. First write your if you uh, if not official but if you want to uh, if you want to manage your project on the github you need to write something about your programming language and about your framework that you can know this project is about uh, it is right developed by this framework developed by this programming language that i want to Laravel 9 Accounts I can create like this Don't create your public if you want to share Then you can change to public but in this time we have to create at the private Your project name repository name private and let's create your repository Okay, as you can see, the GitHub gave to us some command line things. We can apply and we can create our GitHub in our project, but it's not enough. And I want to change something from this command. Okay. Uh, If you want to create your GitHub in your project, you should be in your project folder. I am now in the project folder. And I want to show my project folder right now. Also is hidden items. It's open, you can see. When I created GitHub in my project, you can see Git folder in this area. Okay, let's create together. The first I want to create with this and the next it is create github in this folder you can see initialized empty git repository in this folder the name is dot git and you can see in this area if you want to delete GitHub from your project, just delete this folder. That's all. Okay, let's continue. I want to create my readme file. No, I don't want to add. I will just I want to add all of my file, not just readme file. I want to Add all file to my git. I want to define my commit name, the first commit. Also, I want to define something that you couldn't see in this area. I want to define my username and user email in this area at the configuration this is my username at the github as you can see this is my username
Ok. Defy by user email. It is related. It is related this project with this account. It is related to this project project with this account. Then I don't want to apply this, don't apply this. I want to apply this line. I want to this it is me. This project is related with this user username with user email and with this repository this about the github application and i want to i don't i don't create my branch i don't create a branch i don't want to use main i want to push with the master i want to push with the master don't apply like that. But before before pushing, I want to show you. You can see. I don't have any file in this area. But after, I, I, after pushing, I want to show you something. Okay, 100%. All of my files, it's uploaded on the GitHub. Okay, you see, this is my project. This is my project. I committed my project on the GitHub at the first commit. Okay, if I have changed, some change, and if I want to uh, change, update change on the GitHub, what I, can, what I have to do? Okay, later I, I change something. For example, I want to add something. In this area. Project. I can can run my server right here. You can click and access your project. You see, I add this uh, in my project. Also, don't forget. I, my, my SQL server is working. My SQL server is working. That's why this project is working without error. How can I, I update this change? I changed something in my project and I want to update it onto GitHub. How can I do this? And let's try together. I need to add git add all change. All files. He can track which file is changed. You see, it's just welcome PHP is changed. And I need to define my commit. I need to define my commit. Welcome page changed. And then push. Let's check again. You see the f just one commit. Then we have a two commit. The one you see, the welcome page changed 30 minutes ago, 30 seconds ago. There is just one way that 
we need to comment always in the comment line. No, no, we, we have a, another solutions. We have another options that we can do this. For example, I want to change something. For example, from here. Test comment. How can we use GitHub in PHP store? First, at the file settings, version control, GitHub. You need to add your account from here. Login with the GitHub. You can login with the GitHub from area. And if you login in this area, it is mean the GitHub does not uh, want you any account or any password. Also, at this comment line, at the first time when you want to push your project in the GitHub to GitHub, the GitHub wants from you your password. If you, it, it's just want from you once, not every time. I tried once. Once I tried before. That's why he didn't ask to me my password at the command line. The ones he, he want to enter your password from you. Also, for, a, for application like PHP Storm, we need to define our, our username and password. We need to log, log in, in the, our GitHub account by using this application. If we install, if we define GitHub in our project, you can see Git, some Git tools right here. This update project, commit and push. Okay, and we can see differences. Update project, it is get project from the GitHub to your local machine, local computer. This prepare our Commit, this is push our commit to GitHub. You can see with arrow way you can you can guess. It's downloaded, uploaded, and prepare. I want to prepare my second, my third commit. I change something onto at the root. The root change, you can see at the root change. You can see my change right here. Okay. And commit. I can push. I can push from here. You see. And also just web PHP is affected with this commit. I can push from here or you can select from the master. From here, you can use this push. It's the same. It's the same idea. You can access at the same window. And push. Okay. You see, we have a three commits. The one is third, the first. It's nine minutes ago. Second is four minutes ago. The last is 30 seconds ago. You can track everything, every change from here. It is GitHub is very helpful that we can uh, develop a project with the teams, with the friends together. Or we, we, we can store our project in the GitHub. We can track all of change of the GitHub. If we had mistake, at the last code of the git of the, our project we can return at the previous previous last uh, stable project i think is everything clear about github if you have, have any question you can write the under at the review area thank you for watching see you the next video